When it comes to barbecue, there's two main ways of doing it. You have your charcoal grill and you have your pellet smoker. If you do your barbecue in the oven, click off of this video. And so today I have two briskets and we're gonna see which cooking method is better. Whether it's smoking low and slow on charcoal or using an electric pellet smoker. So let's get started. All right, and here I have two whole USDA Choice Packer briskets. Essentially, these are full briskets. These have both the point and the flat. They're both about eight to nine pounds and are about the same weight. Okay, so I set one of my briskets off the side and so I'm gonna start trimming this one right here. I'm just gonna go underneath all this silver skin. So just trim it off, leaving as much meat on as possible. I always trim most of the fat on the point and only leave a quarter inch of the fat on the brisket flat. As you can see, this thicker end right here is gonna be the point and this is gonna be the flat. I'm going to trim off most of the fat right here, almost all of it. Okay, now that both of our briskets are nice and trimmed up, we're gonna go ahead and season them up. Mustard as a binder. This isn't gonna give the brisket any taste, but it is gonna help the seasoning stick. And so now I'm gonna season all sides with salt, black pepper, and we'll add some garlic powder. Season both sides. And I'll let these sit in my fridge overnight. So tomorrow morning, we'll go ahead and put these on the smoker. It's now in my pellet smoker. I'll go ahead and lay one of my briskets in there. And so for each cook, I'm gonna insert a meter plus probe. This is just gonna help us know the internal temperature. And I'll let that cook. I'm gonna be adding some of these applewood chunks. Lay that right on top. I'll go ahead and place my brisket in. And I'll also stick a meter plus probe in there. I'm gonna leave the bottom vent slightly open and this top vent right here barely cracked. Okay, so we're about five hours into the cook. I'm just gonna spritz it with water and apple cider vinegar just to maintain that bark. I like to spritz every one to two hours. Okay, now our briskets have reached about 165 degrees internal. I'll go ahead and take them off the heat and we're gonna get ready to wrap them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap our briskets. I'm gonna start with the one from the charcoal and I'll go ahead and remove the meter for now. We'll add some beef tallow. This is just rendered beef fat from our brisket trimmings. We just rendered it with a little bit of water until all the fat came out and then we strained it. I'll go ahead and add that on top. Now I'll go ahead and wrap it tightly. All right, now that this is nicely wrapped, I'll go ahead and set this aside and wrap the other one. Our brisket, remove the meter probe, and now we'll wrap. And we'll stick the meter back in. And we'll place it back on the smoker. And now we'll wait for these to hit an internal temperature of 205 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll remove it from the smoker. I'll go ahead and remove the meter plus. We'll cover with the blanket and we'll let these rest overnight. It's gonna help retain all those juices and get us a nice tender and juicy brisket. And now, the next day, I'll go ahead and open this up. All right, now let's go ahead and cut into these briskets. These are still warm because of the insulation box. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unwrap them. I'm gonna start with the charcoal one. And I'll just slice. Oh my God, that looks pretty good. All right, and our pellet smoked. Now I'll slice into our brisket. That looks amazing. All right, so we got our two brisket sliced up. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and try this. We have our pellet smoked and we have our charcoal smoked. Pellet smoke. Charcoal. 
Wow, that was absolutely amazing. Pellet smoker brisket is a lot more tender and juicy. Charcoal has a stronger smokier flavor, but the pellet smoker is more tender. Overall, both are absolutely delicious, but I think the winner here is the pellet smoker. All in all, both of these briskets were absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. Like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on those post bell notifications. And let me know what other barbecue I should try. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.